post 9 11? Uh, you know, I think, like Amy was saying, I think anytime you're at a big sporting event or an event where you've got so many people coming from all different places, security is always going to be a topic. Um, but for us, I think it it really was a topic in 2004. 2004 was kind of, it was kind of insane. In fact, it was such such a big issue that I actually told my mom and my wife to stay home. They didn't come to the Olympics, which was really hard for me to do. Um, but I, I just couldn't take the chance, and they, of course, didn't want me to have to worry about them. You know, for me to be in the stadium and find out that maybe there was a bombing that went off somewhere or something happened and look up in the stands and not be able to find my, my mom or my wife, that would have been hugely distracting for me. And so, so it was. I remember uh, being on the bus, and as we were, we were on the island of Crete, and we were going back and forth from, our, uh, from where we were staying, our hotel, to where we were practicing, and we would have a Black Hawk helicopter that was mm. flying over our bus that would follow us all the way out. We had Secret Service agents on the bus with us that were always at all times with us wherever the team went. We were not allowed to go out on our own and do anything on our own. If we were gonna go out, we had to let the team uh, captain or someone know, and they would send someone out with us a lot of times. And so it, it was a big, big issue, but we didn't really have any major, major problems. And I think as I moved into 2008 and went to the 2008 games in Beijing, you start to see how security measures were changing I mean, with credentials and the amount of credentials that they were allowing out and who would get credentials and who couldn't get and credentials. And people complained about that, that they it was did. so intrusive. It was, it, and it really was. But at the same time, it's become such a way of life now. I mean, with airport you know, security systems and, and everything else that's going on, it's it's almost become a part of life, and you just kind of yeah. you just go through it and deal with it, and you you know you don't allow it to affect you. You you concentrate on your job, and your job is to go out and win medals, and, and that's what you do.